let you all into a secret. STEM, that's science, technology, engineering and maths, runs through my veins. Not the intimate detail of every discipline, but the appreciation and understanding of the power of its application. My education and work experience led me into the magnificent world of manufacturing, a place where STEM lives and breathes in all its fabulous forms. Manufacturing's interconnectivity and reach showed me the powerful combination created when STEM meets commerce. And it enabled me to turn my STEM-based experience into a funky STEM and business combo. It also enabled me to go from boiler suits to boardroom, chemistry to colostomy bags, bulletproof vests to blast furnaces, oh yeah, and beyond. Well, go on, let's put aside this personal connection of mine. What does STEM mean to all of us? What does it mean to you? For some, it's the difference between life and death. Drugs, pacemakers, the equipment used by life-saving paramedics. For many of us, though, the part STEM plays is so embedded in our own everyday lives, it generally goes overlooked. Go on, everyone, be honest. When was the last time you thought about the STEM involved in producing, say, your favourite tea bag or your favourite toilet roll? But looking at it from another perspective, STEM builds and powers economies. Statista.com reports that in 2015, the global chemical industry generated in excess of $5 trillion. And in 2014, the medical industry, technology industry in the US and Europe, well, that generated in excess of $340 billion in 2014. So really, whichever way you look at it, STEM is an important and integral part of our lives, whether we realise it or not. And if STEM is an important part of our lives, then so are the superstars working in STEM-based and STEM-related roles around the world. Do you know what? They're out there innovating to solve complex global challenges. They're building economies and societies. They're working so hard to keep the show on the road. Take, for example, chemical engineer Mercy Manucci and Moto Charcoal a cooking fuel which is made from leftover corn stalks and leaves. It produces a clean energy source which burns with the same calorific value as charcoal. Now, how cool is that? Well, maybe I should say hot, but you know, you know where I'm going with this. For me, the work done by our STEM superstars around the world makes them our knowledge engine, a living, breathing, dynamic powerhouse that brings us progress, growth and hope. It really does bring us hope. You see, it's something to be valued. It's something to be nurtured because like any important asset, our knowledge engine requires investment and development. The significance of this didn't become truly apparent to me personally until a few years ago. So there I was on my mission to transform myself from industrial chemist to managing director when it struck me. Oh, is this it? Is it it? Is this it? I just, I just didn't know what to do anymore. I felt like I was achieving less, not more. So there was nothing for it. I had to shift again to initiate another transformation. So I left my corporate role behind in the hope of building something of my own. The path I chose took me into the amazing ecosystem outside corporate walls. It most definitely challenged me in lots of new ways and it indeed did broaden my horizons. And, um, well, quite unexpectedly in this process, I also managed to paint myself into a very dark and very uncomfortable corner. I was well and truly stuck and so frustrated. Standing in the kitchen one evening, I couldn't contain my frustration any longer. And I asked my now husband, Martin, a simple question. What is it that you think I do? Well, he said you do loads of things, you, don't you? Oh, bleeping marvellous, I shouted, and yes, I did shout in my kitchen. If you don't know what the bleep I do, how the bleep will anyone else? I don't know, I don't know what to do anymore. Nothing I do seems to work. I was that angry and frustrated. Seems to me, he said, you've always been asked to get involved with this professional development stuff and you really care about STEM. 
why don't you start there? <gasps> Bingo. I actually had a place to begin. And as if by magic, little cracks appeared in that dark corner of mine and little chinks of light began to shine through. Now all I needed, of course, was the what, why and how. I took a step back, I dug deep into my own experiences. I listened and researched the insights of others and read the works of many great thinkers. And I looked at the whole world from a completely different perspective. And the more I immersed myself, the more I began to realise just how important it is that we nurture our knowledge engine. And also to recognise there are several factors influencing our ability to do it well. And you know what? These efforts of mine did something else as well. They helped me leave my dark corner behind because they really did light a fire inside me and inspired me to create the diamond effect. People who know me know that I am a real champion and supporter of encouraging young people to follow a career in STEM. Feeding our knowledge engine is obviously imperative. But when you're working in the knowledge engine, it can be very fun and fulfilling, but it also can be frustrating and full on. To thrive and evolve in such a dynamic environment, learning and development is critical. It needs to be connected in context. It has to go beyond technical boundaries and it can't be just some boring old tick box exercise. The diamond effect is a holistic approach to learning and development for scientists and engineers. Its ethos is to help them thrive and evolve in our knowledge engine. It recognises and embraces their natural talents. It helps them harness pressure and challenge and turn them into value and resilience. And it uses the power of interconnectivity. But why, Lane? I hear you cry. Well, let's have a look at one, each one in turn. The word on the streets, ladies and gents, is that we're suffering from VUCA. No, you do not need a special cream for that. VUCA stands for volatility, uncertainty, complexity and ambiguity. To entrepreneurs, this is an amazing source of opportunities. To many big businesses, it's a real source of angst. And to scientists and engineers, it's, well, hello there. Welcome to our world. Because you see, our STEM talents are already used to working with the unknown and the complex for connecting disparate dots and for experimenting. Embracing, sharing and developing these natural talents is what enables our knowledge engine to continually create value for people and communities around the world. Now, it is fair to say that scientists and engineers, engineers do love a little challenge. It might be technical, it might, it might be um, the theoretical, it might be applied, it might be re in response to day-to-day -day operations, or it might be invested in research and development activities. The list does go on and on. This mix of VUCA, organisational demands and combined with this love of a good challenge and technical responsibilities, it can create an intense environment. Turning this pressure and challenge into value and resilience requires more than technical expertise alone. And talking of technical expertise, putting technical skills into one compartment and then calling all the other stuff soft skills really does not benefit our knowledge engine. Okay, putting aside the fact that I don't particularly like the soft skills label, it is not beneficial because by making skills seem separate and almost giving them a ranking, we are affecting the well-being and resilience of our knowledge engine. Linked, not linear. Transferable plus technical interconnectivity is most definitely, definitely the name of the game. If that is the why? What about the how? I know you're dying to know. Well, like a diamond has carbon, the diamond effect has four key elements. Creativity, caring, communities and communication. Together, these four elements help to build resilience through a foundation of skills as solid as technical expertise. They help to spread excellence of STEM-tastic thinking far and wide. Together they create value by utilising and making the most of people power. And together 
They work together to stop valuable talents going to waste. To explore these four elements in a little tiny bit more detail, we're going to dive deeper together, are you ready, into our knowledge engine, starting with creativity. In his work on innovation, Peter F. Drucker explains how it's seldom down to a flash of genius. Innovation requires ingenuity, it requires knowledge, effort and commitment. And the same is true today as it ever was with STEM superstars around the world using their knowledge and ingenuity to build better technologies and brighter futures. Take, for example, drum roll, Tom Frame, who's an engineer, and physicist Tom Hall, who joined forces to create Fourth State Medicine, an organisation which is taking atmospheric plasma technology into healthcare, wound care, and cosmetic medicine. You see, the thing with innovation is that, and delivering long-term impact, is that they require persistence and high-quality thinking. And this is where creativity, and as Bruce Nussbaum refers to it, creative intelligence make the difference. For scientists and engineers, creative thinking is a day-to-day -day working. Some people may not re realise this, but it is. And creativity forms part of their natural talents. Therefore, this element of the diamond effect is all about encouraging them to understand more about the nature of creativity, to actually appreciate and extend their own skills, and also to encourage them to help others develop their skills as well, so that they can innovate and learn and build resilience together. And talking of togetherness, Diversity drives our knowledge engine, people, making it powerful and strong. It also makes it a place for potential misunderstandings, misopportunities and misinterpretation. Therefore, the caring element is all about recognising that people are different and then caring enough to actually do something about it. It encourages our STEM superstars to look to themselves, to understand more about their own way of working and personal impact and it also encourages them to see the world through the eyes of others. In addition, as scientists and engineers are some of the most earnest, genuine and motivated people I know, caring is also about helping them to extend this commitment and motivation into areas beyond their technical safe zones. In essence, our knowledge engine is one gigantic community made up of lots of smaller interconnected communities, all subtly or substantially influencing each other. These groups that form, well, they might be varied. They may form across borders, they might form in one particular organisation, and they might be virtual. There's so many different varieties. The composition of these groups might be constantly changing. And you know what? The agendas of these groups, well, they might be in sync, but quite often they're completely at odds. This means our scientists and engineers are expected to be chameleon-like. No, no, it's on there. Chameleon-like. They might be, I don't know, working to the home team rooms in, rules in the morning and satisfying what matters to a client in the afternoon. Delving deep into the detail to solve a really complex problem one minute and then heading up a humongous inter-organisational project the next. This variety in ways of working and working scenarios and relationships brings with it, oh my word, fantastic opportunities to innovate, to learn and to collaborate. It can also bring with it, well, a stressful environment. It can lead to unproductive working practices and on occasion it can inhibit the building of trust. Therefore, the communities element is all about encouraging our STEM superstars to understand more about the effects of organisational culture and team dynamics, helping them to develop and apply skills for working much more effectively in our knowledge engine communities. In addition, when we're working in this environment, all perceptions of leadership based on structure and status are really, really unhelpful. So the diamond effect encourages a leadership mindset, a mindset I call a creative enabler. And a shining example of a creative enabler is chemistry and business dude, 
Craig Barson, healthcare entrepreneur, living legend, CEO of Focus Product Developments, and a man who helped to launch my career. As we've seen, our knowledge engine is a highly interconnected place where people of varying disciplines, financial input, power, and size of ego, come together to bring value and create progress. For scientists and engineers, the challenge can sometimes come with understanding this power interest influence mix and then translating their insights into a format which resonates with such varying priorities. Ad hoc presentation skills training over here and a little bit of networking skills stuff over there don't really get to the heart of effective communication. Therefore, this final element encourages and enables our STEM talent to get to grips with the people and purpose aspects of communication, helping them to increase their impact and extend their reach even further. As I bring my talk to a close, I have a special message for STEM superstars everywhere. Remember, you are part of a living, breathing, dynamic knowledge engine. So never underestimate the valuable contribution that you make to societies and economies around the world. Embrace your stem way of thinking and spread it far and wide. To do this, keep taking the lead on your learning and development. Don't wait for someone else to give you permission. And finally, whether we're beneficiaries or builders of our knowledge engine, it requires us all to play our part to rise to this big challenge that we face. So let's us here today ask ourselves, how could we all make a difference together? Thank you.